give me a firm place to stand and a lever and I can move the earth. This was a quote by philosopher Archimedes, super smart guy because he learned that if you have a big enough lever, you can move super heavy things with not a lot of weight. The same applies in real estate. You can get massive returns with not much investment. Let me explain how this works. So we know that homes appreciate and on average, homes appreciate about 4% per year, and this is dating back all the way to 1942. You can see home prices from 1942 all the way to 2022, home price appreciation every single year. On average, it's about 4%. Okay, so what happens if you purchased a home? And I'm gonna have the example be about $300,000. So let's say you purchased for $300,000. Your down payment was 3% or just $9,000. Your first home, that home's appreciating 4%, like we said, the average. Well, after one year, that home's going to be worth $312,000. So we take $12,000 minus your $9,000 initial investment, and you get $3,000. Well, that was your return after one year, and this is your equity or market appreciation. So take $3,000, divide that by $9,000, and you get a 33% rate of return on that, on that investment that first year. Well, after the second year, your home is now worth 324000 because it's compounding. It's 4% per year on average. And that's $24,480 minus your $9,000 investment. You got a rate of return of $15,000 after two years. Well, that's 172% rate of return on your investment. Now, that's really, really good. So this is leverage. That $300,000 is that $300,000 home is appreciating at just 4%, but that's a huge return on your just on or your not small $9,000 down payment. Now, it doesn't really tell the full story because let's say you're a renter and let's say you're actually spending $1,500 in rent and you're looking at going to this $300,000 home. Well, a $300,000 home, that payment is going to be about $2,500. So why would you spend an extra $1,000 per month to purchase a home instead of save $1,000 by renting? Well, $300,000 payment is about $2,500 per month. Now, this is as of September 2023. Your down payment's 3%, like I was saying, $9,000. So you're spending an extra $1,000 per month or $12,000 per year. Why would you do this? Well, of course, we know that homes appreciate over time and on average 4 to 5%. So after 10 years, you can see what this would look like. So this is historical appreciation and forecasted appreciation. For This is Shasta County, and I can get any county in the United States. So after 10 years, historically, for Shasta County, you'd actually have about $230,000 of equity. What this means is if you sold your home after 10 years, you'd get about $230,000 of cash back because that home has appreciated and you paid down that balance with that extra $1,000. Now, what if you just rented? What if you didn't buy this house and you rented and you saved that $1,000 and let's say you gave that $1,000 to an invest a in, uh, financial planner. Well, if you gave that investment, that $1,000 and you did not buy a home and you gave that to a financial planner, well, you would have to every single year get a 14% rate of return on that $1,000 to have in 10 years the same amount that you'd have by buying your first home. You'd have to get 14% return and you'd have $232,000 at year 10. It's very, very difficult to get a 14% return over a 10-year period on any investment in the stock market. You could be the best stock investor and this is very difficult to get every single year for 10 years. So this is leverage. This is how you can use real estate to really build wealth.